Good evening, everyone. Before we get into tonight's update, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what to expect. First and foremost, we have to go over the XRP daily technical analysis, and we have to see where XRP continuously has been getting rejected at the falling channel resistance, and what the bigger consequences are if we lose this very key support area that I will highlight in tonight's update. We're also going to be going over a few reasons why I own XRP and why I'm going to have a much bigger stake as we go down as well, but why I like XRP so much and why, to me, it's one of the premier ones you must own. And for me, it's my A1. But I'm going to give you a few reasons why. And I'm not going to give you the standard, oh, it's the cross-border payments and yada, yada, yada. I'll show you a couple reasons why I believe so highly in XRP and why I think it's transformational. Also, we need to take a look at DXY. And we also need to take a look at what you see right behind the Dow down 697 points today. It finished. The S&P closed better than 81 points down NASDAQ down 294 points plus, and the Russell 2000 down as well, pretty big. So we're going to talk about the implications of that when it goes to the crypto markets. So pay attention, stay through the entire update, and please, I beg of you, I ask you very kindly, please, oh please, hit that like button because it really does help push me through the analytics. And I really do want to have more and more people in here as I believe we do do something different and I believe this community is second to none. And we'll also pay attention to the fact that the futures right now is up about, oh, 55 points. The S&P is up 550, and the NASDAQ is up 19 points. Please hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it. Wow, uh, Tom, you know, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I hear everything the last two weeks. It's never going to go below 40 cents. We're going to the moon. And what happens, Tom? The same old tomfoolery bullshit. Oh, my God, Bob. What the hell is going on? I haven't even done the intro yet. I haven't even told... Well, I did the intro, but I haven't even told everybody what the date and everything is. Wow, uh, Tom, I'm getting sick of all this nonsense. Can everybody just tell us that it's not the bottom already? Holy hell, Bob, what is going on with you? <laughs> Bob, Jesus. Wow, uh, Tom, you know, it's very hard to trade this market when I don't know what's going on. Bob, I tell you every single thing. Wow, uh, Tom, you know, I know you tell me, but some of these other people, are, I'm listening to them and, Bob, why don't you just listen to what we talk about every day? Wow, uh, Tom, you know, I got other... All right, Bob, I got to get to the intro, please. I, I just, We did the intro, but I got to just I gotta get everybody going here. Sorry about that, everybody. That was Bob. God. Um, good evening. 7.57 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Tuesday, February 21st, 2023. I'm XRP Future Millionaire. <laughs> I reside in the great state of Michigan. And I, I apologize for you guys being rudely interrupted by Bob. He's, uh, if you don't know who Bob is, he's the everyman, the every woman, the person who comes in and... Doesn't really know what's going on. Doesn't really understand, but still wants to put in their own opinion. You know, and just will listen to everybody else's opinion but their own. That's Bob. Bob's the every person. Who might ask the dumb question, but you know, we love Bob. Wow, wow you son of a bitch. But... <sighs> Anyhow, we got some important things to talk about. So if you're new, if you haven't got scared away already... Please hit that subscribe button as we approach 16,000 subscribers. Bob comes and goes as he pleases. So, XRP right now is at 0.3901, down 0.43%. Um, we're in this falling channel, as I alluded to in the opening. So, we have this downtrending resistance that it's just been a major hassle for us. Just a major hassle. Wow, wow, Tom, just like you are. Jesus Christ, Bob, can I just get through this update? This downtrending resistance, as I was speaking... At 404, we can't break this right now. We have this falling channel resistance. So let me get my drawing tool out so everybody can see. And I'm going to hurry up before Bob scares you all away. So we have resistance one, resistance two, resistance three. We also have support one, support two, support three, support four. So we've hit all of these. So as we went through, we had support, resistance, support, resistance, support. We came through here 
And even when we hit this, we said we're waiting for it to come back up here because we need this third hit of resistance. Even if the pattern were to break down, we need that verification up here. Three hits will confirm this falling channel on the top and bottom. So to me, looks like we're in a falling channel. It really does. That looks like a falling channel to me. So if we break out, this could be a good sign. You break up into here, see what happens. Take your chances at 432, the double top of the pattern formation. You break down, well then again, you have other bigger problems. If you break this, and then you come through and you end up breaking this uptrending um, support, that's where the big problems start. So that's what we're looking at right now. That's the falling channel we're in. And I think we diagnosed it very well when it came through as that being the falling channel support. And we diagnosed it very quickly that that was the resistance and what was going on. And I think we're pretty damn good. I think we're pretty good. I think we're seeing this pretty damn good. And the whole point of all this is too, I'm going to lead this into a little bit different here in this part of the update coming up. Because now you know the short term. I want to give you a few reasons why. I love XRP. The reason why I've been talking about XRP since March of 2021. The reason why I thought it was so important that everybody liquidate when we were at $1.66. After the big push up to $1.98. After we came down and after we failed three separate times to break $1.70. I thought that was the best time so that we could be in this opportunity right now. This moment in history right now. Where we could buy XRP 80% off and build it to the bottom. That's what we've been doing but we need to continue doing it stronger. We need to do it for, this is all, this is it. For me, this is everything. I do the gold and silver and I do my, because that's real money. That has nothing to do with my speculative stuff like XRP and my crypto. The crypto is to build the wealth. My gold and silver, my precious metals is to maintain, store my value. Make no mistake about it. The gold and silver is not going to get me to where XRP and some of the crypto is going to get me as far as the big gains. The store of value, though, is what the gold and silver, and that's what that's what I dream about with the gold and silver, and that's why I store it instead of real money, instead of what they call real money, the dollar or the note or your uh, fiat currency, your native fiat currency. I have gold and silver as my real money, but XRP, the ISO coins that will follow, the IoT coins, Internet of Things. These are where I maintain what I have is in gold and silver, but how I grow it to an exponentially greater level than I ever thought possible. Yes, gold and silver will grow, but I believe even though crypto is speculative, it's the next Forex. So I don't believe you need to be in Forex and crypto. I think that's just stupid. And no offense if you like Forex. I just think if you're going to go in two 24-7 markets that are manipulated, you got to cut one or the other out. And I believe... Crypto is the next frontier. Forex is yesteryear's bullshit. And that's so manipulated that you, good luck in that garbage. But if you're going to be in a 24-7 market and you love crypto, if you like XRP, do me a favor. Don't get caught up in two 24-7 markets. It's just a recipe for disaster. I don't care what anybody says. So right now, the point is with XRP, we're at a moment right now where we can do one of two things. We can sit back. We can act like... Um, it doesn't matter. We can act like it's, it's it, This is it. It can go all the way down sub 20 cents. We don't have to worry about doing anything. It's all gravy. We already know what's going to happen. Or we can start building good fundamentals. Just like I do when I build my gold and silver up that I've been doing for seven years now. I'm starting to do with XRP again. I'm starting to build at each of these levels. Once it hits sub 30 cents, it started. Under 40 cents, I'm willing to buy. If it goes over 40 cents, I refuse to buy any XRP. So you make that for what it's worth. So if it's over 40 cents, I won't buy XRP. As much as I love XRP, I've had an opportunity for over a year. And I'm going to continue to have opportunities to buy at sub 40 cents. And I am taking full advantage of it. In the end, I hope you are too. But all I can do is continue to preach. Because I'm not a financial advisor, but what I am is your friend. And as your friend, I'm going to do this right. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to get you to come here to watch me because I'm going to tell you it's going to go to a thousand. I'm not even going to tell you to subscribe to me because I can give you the best kept secret of how to trade this market. I'm not going to try to finesse you by saying that you can sign up for Tom's Army to get these trading courses. No. All I'm going to tell you, I don't have some trading bot. I don't have the fanciest, latest trading software. I don't even have a trading course for you to sign up and look at. What I am giving you every single day and I'm not hiding it behind paywalls. I'm giving you my knowledge. I'm giving you my time. And I have not missed a day since March of 2021. 
going in on two years without a day off. And I will continue to do this every single day because I believe in what I do. I believe in XRP and I believe each one of you deserve this knowledge no matter the size of your wallet. Something that I maintain very true and that I can maintain consistency even though we're almost up to 16,000 subscribers. So what am I getting at? You need to make a choice. This is one time in history that if you fuck it up, you're going to be very, very angry. Not at me, but at yourself. Maybe at some of the influencers that misled you. You don't want to lose your mentality right now. This is a big mind fuck right now. And let me tell you, the reason you need to stay here is because I keep it straight. I keep this a level playing field. And I'm very cool, calm, and collected because I know what's going on. They cannot trick me through the charts. And they can't trick me through the FUD. Because I understand economics on a grand scale. I understand what's going on with inflation. And I also understand how to devalue a high time of inflation by getting rid of the shit money and turning it into value of gold and silver, having real money. I understand how to build through high paying dividend assets and also cryptocurrency when it's at the bottom. That's where we're at now, folks. We're at a bottoming cycle. When you talk about millionaires that come from nothing, when you talk about people that have pennies to their names and they turn it into thousands or hundreds into thousands and tens of thousands, the time is now. I'm not saying when you buy it at 38 cents or 39 cents that it's going to go to $10 tomorrow. What I am saying though is you can start building a foundation at 39 cents. Then if it goes to 30, 25, God willing, we get under 20 cents. You can build something so special. And by doing it on a set budget too, a lot of people are like, I only have a couple hundred dollars. That's fantastic. And I say this willingly. If you have to, you buy some, and if you need to, whatever you have to do, go find cans. People are throwing cans, and people think it's the dumbest thing, but I'm being dead serious. Let's just say you can buy a share of XRP for $0.39. Cents. So you go out and you find $39 worth of cans. you got 10 shares. Right? Or uh, you have 100 shares for 39 bucks. Well, what if one day that 100 shares, instead of being 39 cents, it was two bucks? So that $39 worth of cans are now worth 200 bucks. Just on 100 shares. So you get my picture here. There's ways to go out there and do this, and we can do it right. That doesn't mean you have to rob somebody. That doesn't mean you have to scam somebody. That doesn't even mean you need to join this exclusive program so you have the knowledge to do it. I'm telling you easy ways. I'm not talking about just collecting cans. I'm talking about if you've got a few extra dollars. Let's say you got a portfolio of $1,000. I'm telling you to buy 2% of XRP right now just so you get used to it. Buy 2% worth of XRP today at sub 40 cents just so you can say, I own XRP and I've got this great fucking thing. And now I'm going to learn more about it. And now that you own 2%, now, now we can, we can go fight because now you can go to battle with XRP. So now that you have 2% of XRP, now we can, you can feel it. See, you feel it? You hear it? That's your heart pumping. That's the love for XRP kicking in. Now you got a stake in the game. Once you have a stake in the game, it's a little different, but you don't want the stake in the game at $1.50. Oh, no. You want it sub 40 cents. The stake in the game sub 40 cents means every time it goes up a dollar, you 2.2X, basically. You at least 2X. At least 2X. 2.1x, 2x, but the point is, is now you've got something building. So now that you have XRP, you understand the pattern, you understand my motives and what I'm doing. I'm going to show you exactly some of the reasons why I love XRP. So one of the biggest reasons for me, and it seems bland, but hey, I like to know what I'm dealing with. And knowing that we have 100 billion XRP is a lot, yes, but at least I know they're all here. So here's a key reason why I like XRP. It's not mined. Unlike Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies, XRP is not mined. All 100 billion XRP tokens were created at once and no new XRP can be created. So to me, that means as long as we can't create more, and yes, it's going to take an extraordinary market cap to move 100 billion XRP. I acknowledge that. But what I am saying is when 95% of crypto goes away, you're going to have to throw that liquidity somewhere. That money's got to go somewhere with the people that are left. And still wanting to buy crypto. So never say never when it comes to higher prices. But I still believe XRP is going to have a stable coin price. And if the higher stable coin price, 
but it's got to be stable to move liquidity through all of money. And that doesn't just mean how I always talk about the stable coin for all of crypto. And that means like if you had an algo, and I always use algo as the example, you have algo, I'm sending it to Singapore, and I don't know, their native fiat in Singapore, maybe it doesn't have, maybe you can't do it with algo. So what happens is I send them algo because I'm paying them an algo. They're like, oh shit, well I need to cash this out for my Singapore, whatever the fuck the fiat is there. And they're like, well I can't do it. Algo doesn't convert to my fiat, this bullshit. So what do you do? You send it over to XRP. You sell XRP for the Singapore, whatever your native fiat is in Singapore. And all is great. So basically XRP gets used as a center, a medium in exchange and it becomes a stable coin for all of crypto. So you have a very high number, but that's one form of it. And it can be done by the ODL, the ripple net for on-demand liquidity. So let me go a little bit deeper. It's a bridge currency. And this is exactly what I've been talking about. And what I just explained to you, but now we're going to explain by definition what I was just talking about. So it's a bridge currency. So I'm defining it as a bridge currency just by what I was explaining to you. XRP acts as a bridge currency between different fiat currencies. For example, if a bank in the U.S. wants to send money to a bank in Japan, they could use XRP to convert U.S. dollars to XRP and then convert XRP to Japanese yen. So like I was using a comparison for another cryptocurrency, this is using that same comparison for fiat currency. Now, when you start to realize what that means, is 39 cents for XRP that expensive? Is this really a scam coin? Or is there a lot of controlled opposition here to trick you into buying at the wrong time and to keep you out of something because it's technically a banker's coin? It's here for a median exchange for the rich people, the institutionals, the institutions, the banks, big business. This eliminates the need for multiple currency conversions, which can be time consuming and expensive. Very compelling. It uses a unique consensus algorithm. And this is amongst my favorite thing. And one of the down low, the Ripple Protocol consensus algorithm on the down low is one of the greatest things about XRP. And I've talked about it in many updates about what it is. But we will continue in the future to go down that rabbit hole. But just this is another key reason to me why I own XRP and why I think it's going to transcend things. And already is. The point is, is it already is. This whole Ripple SEC lawsuit, this is all fucking shenanigans. I'm telling you guys right now, if that's what keeps you out of this, you I've been telling you guys since 2021, you should thank God we're in this lawsuit because we've got all this time. Everybody's like, I want XRP to be at $50. Do you? Do you? Right now, right here, today. All I hear is I don't have enough money to buy the XRP I want. You've got a golden opportunity here to do it and to build on it for months. After month, after month. Who gives a fuck if you're paying 40, 30, 20, 15, 10, 18, 37, 32? Who cares? It's not a dollar seventy, dollar ninety, two fifty, four, or three sixty. I mean, do you know how many people are still sitting on XRP from all time highs? They would give their right nut for this price. I'm telling you right now, they're laughing at us. Those people that have bought it at the top and they're looking at us. Some people that are like, oh my God, it's at 39 cents. I'm, what if it goes down to 18? They're like, are you fucking kidding me? You buy twice as much, motherfucker. No one says you have to pay the whole amount now. So we need to pay attention to this. So another reason right here, a big reason why XRP, I think, is I, you must own XRP. It uses a unique consensus algorithm. XRP uses a consensus algorithm called the Ripple Protocol Consensus Algorithm. RPCA, which allows for fast transaction processing and high scalability. This makes XRP well-suited for, for use in large-scale financial transactions. And finally, what I've been talking about, the XRP ledger, the liquidity. We've talked about RippleNet, but actually, we talked about RippleNet. I don't think I brought up XRP, uh, the XRP ledger yet. So this is the final reason I'm going to give you right now. Why I think it's imperative you own XRP and why I do and will own much, much more as we go through this bear market because I have a lot of liquidity left. I've got 3500 bucks right now liquid to buy XRP as we build to the bottom. And I've been buying since sub 30 cents. Anything under sub 40, I'm willing to buy. And I had to be very, very patient for a very long time until I got this opportunity. And I'm not allowing myself to have any excuses. I'm doing this right. And like I've said... If this ends up being nothing more than a 
proof of work kind of thing for what I'm putting in on YouTube. This is a record for when somebody says, well, Tom, why didn't you try to tell other people about what was coming in history? Well, this is my, this is my video footprint. This is my virtual footprint about, I tried and I led people the right way and I didn't ask them to pay me shit. Built-in liquidity. XRP has a built-in liquidity system called the XRP Ledger, which allows for seamless currency exchange between different currencies. This makes it easier and more cost-effective for banks and other financial institutions to process international payments. So I hope these reasons were compelling enough for you to consider at least looking a little bit more into XRP, making a, I think, a once-in-a-lifetime decision to get on the train, to own some XRP, and to continue buying it as we bottom out here. Because I don't think there's anything else that we're looking at that can transcend things in the financial sectors as we see today. And I'm going to continue to talk about XRP. I'm going to continue to talk about it the way I did today. Because it's what I truly believe. Before I leave, downtrending resistance here. Make sure you know the ranges here today. So, very quickly, resistance one here is going to be very simple. If we can get back up above the 404 level, but ultimately the 404 is not going to play true right now because we have the 402 right now. So the 402 level is that downtrending resistance now on the updated falling channel where it's at. We have underneath that point 386. So right now your underneath support is 386. You're over the top resistance. The falling channel resistance is 0 0.402. Pay attention to this because if we lose 0.386, that means we can come down to the downtrending support on the falling channel at 0 0.3600 on the 30 minute time frame we have already completed a death cross here on the 30 minute time frame we remain below the 20 day which is very bearish so we have to see how much longer this plays out if we go into the 45 we're working on let's see the 45 we've already we're just 45 minute we've confirmed a death cross here in the 45 minute this is breaking news death cross here in the 45 minute and then in the one hour, we're going to be working on that as we broke the two hour support. I mean, the one hour, 20 day resistance as support, and we're using it as resistance. So this is an emergency. Make sure you pay attention. I appreciate it if you share this far and wide to somebody else so they can see this information. If you want to join me on Tom's Army, video description below, or you can look at the pinned messages. I encourage you to join Tom's Army as I started Tom's Army 2.0. Um, and it's transcending what I'm doing. What I have is a general chat, but then I have chart shared by all. I have future trades, the analytics. Um, we have spot trading. We have the SEC versus Ripple XRP where I share stuff every single day. And, th and this is in the beta version. So this is something you get if you join Tom's Army. And I'm very, very excited about this. And then I have terminology. Probably my favorite part of this is each day I've been building a terminology database. We've got uptrending support. We've got falling channels. We've got the W reversal. And each day I start building that. And in the morning, before I even do an update on YouTube, I talk about the day setup in the group. So I'll tell the exact pattern setup. And I'll show you what to expect with the two key resistances. I call them R1, R2, and the two key supports, S1, S2. Join Tom's Army. You get that telegram for free. It's my way of saying thank you to everybody who paid it forward and showed me that support. If you want to use the exchanges I do as well, that's in the video description below and or the pinned comment below. You got Maxi and or BitGet. No spot fees on the buy and sell. Futures up to 200x. And then if you want to join me on Uphold as well, you can do that in the video description below. Hashtag the FUD stops here. Hashtag be better, do better. And remember, help one person each and every day. Because if I don't do my part and you don't do your part, what the hell is the point in this journey? Don't get left behind. What's coming next in the next chapter is going to blow your mind.